Noam Chomsky compares the veneration of Ronald Reagan and the hero worship being an icon to what they did with uh, George Washington. You know, George Washington was a prophet, a perfect man, never did anything wrong. He had to sort of, you know, uh, scrub over the slavery and some of these other issues that he had. Um, this, I was talking to an El Salvadorian recently, and I had just started reading some Noam Chomsky about it, and actually I was looking at Oscar Romero, and that happened under President Jimmy Carter, and Jimmy Carter is, you know, there was no bombs. He didn't bomb anybody during his tenure, during his four years, uh, but he did maintain the empire, you know, uh, sending out military aid to his friends so they could use the guns um, against their enemies. But that's, you know, that's Jimmy Carter, so Jimmy Carter's not perfect, but compared to Ronald Reagan, Ronald Reagan has got to be the, one of the shittiest fucking people. Uh, I have no idea why we want to pretend that Ronald Reagan was a good fucking guy. He wasn't a good guy. I'll mention the one good thing that I think that he did, and that was the amnesty. He gave amnesty for three million, um, you know, so-called illegal Mexicans. There, you got three million, what are you going to do, put them all on trains and send them down there? That's going to very much bring us to, you know, Hitler and uh, putting all the Jews on the trains. But there's, um, first of all, Ronald Reagan sucks because he gave bin Laden his weapons. He's the one that created Al-Qaeda and bin Laden through the CIA. And this is, you know, this is open knowledge. He gives weapons to bin Laden. Bin Laden, right? That's supposed to be our biggest fucking enemy and shit. <clears throat> Well, how did Bin Laden get his money? How did Bin Laden, you know, get his rise to power? Well, through Ronald Reagan. Uh, the Russians were invading Afghanistan, and America would see Russia fail because of the whole Cold War thing. And um, and I wonder if he could actually kill an idea. That's what Tony Blair says. You can't you can't kill an idea. Well, you killed communism, right? So maybe you can kill an idea. Um, but they give Bin Laden and the uh, Mujahideen and the Taliban weapons to fight the Russians who are in their country. And so, you know, at the time, it sounded like a good idea, but it's called blowback. You give people weapons, and then, you know, they turn right around, and they're using the weapons against us. We gave uh, Saddam Hussein his weapons, and actually all his atrocities were when we were friends with Saddam Hussein, but we give him weapons and Iran weapons so they would attack each other. But that's the biggest criticism of Ronald Reagan. He fucking give weapons to Bin Laden. I mean, he's a uh, creator of terrorism, not just state-sponsored terrorism, but actual, you know, fucking low-intensity um, terrorism too. Bin Laden. He fucking the rise of Bin Laden's power was because of Ronald Reagan. And that's um, you know that's that's during the eighties. Eventually, Bin Laden turns against us in ninety-one because we wouldn't let him lead a jihad against Saddam Hussein. He wanted to lead a jihad against Saddam Hussein and. Um, apparently Bush Sr. didn't want him to do that, so he started to turn against us, and then uh, he's hating the infidels, being on Muslim land, and some other shit, why 9-11 happened. But that's, uh, you know, Bin Laden wouldn't have got his break. Bin Laden got his break because of Ronald Reagan. And uh, just a million things. <laughs> There's, I don't know any fucking thing. Uh, South Africa, you got Nelson Mandela's put in the prison, 27, 37, you know, for decades. Um, having to live in prison because he thought that the uh, apartheid in South Africa was wrong. Well, guess where Ronald Reagan stood on that? He was very much opposed to Nelson Mandela, called Nelson Mandela a fucking terrorist and was financing the South African government at the time. And then they wound up, you know, uh, using their military weapons against Angola and Mozambique. One and a half million people were killed. So he's a fucking terrorist. Ronald Reagan is one of the biggest fucking terrorists ever. He's financing bin Laden. Uh, you know, state-sponsored terrorists. We can't go after al-Qaeda because they don't have a state. So who sponsors them? Who gives them the money? Oh, well, it comes straight out of um, the White House in Pennsylvania Avenue. So that's, um, uh, you know, that's, uh, and then South Africa, he's supporting terrorism, state-sponsored terrorism against the freedom fighters in Nicaragua, El Salvador, uh, Guatemala and Latin America, Granada, uh, you know, this, this is a lot of fucking wars and uh, military conflicts that happened because Ronald Reagan was at the helm. And what did those nations do? And we don't, as a nation, we don't even talk about any of this stuff. You're just supposed to worship Ronald Reagan like he's a great fucking guy. He wasn't popular as a president, had some of the lowest numbers, um, and then, you know, the shit that people want to say. I think it's just like he got on camera and was able to talk to the American people. He was an astute politician. 
so he was able to get the shit done, right? Um, but that's, um, let's see, he stole money from the Social Security Trust Fund. I don't know if I'm finished actually with the sort of uh, uh, foreign policy because uh, he wasn't good on Cuba, El Salvador, Guatemala, Nicaragua. Uh, he's financing the uh, state-sponsored terrorists against the revolutionaries, against the democratic elected revolutionaries in Granada. Uh, Granada was basically like the Monica missiles. You know, Bill Clinton had Monica Lewinsky on the front page, so he bombed Sudan to sort of get those uh, the press off his ass and sort of look, hey, look over here. Well, that's what Granada was. 240 Marines were slaughtered in Lebanon. Um, you know, he landed 240 Marines there. They're supposed to do something, but they all wound up getting fucking killed. And instead of declaring war on Lebanon, we just kind of, you know, um, washed our hands of the situation. We attacked Granada. And Granada is just this little poor nation right up, you know, um, in the sort of really south of the Caribbean, closer to South America. And the, the whole fucking war is just bullshit. Supposedly there's these medical students that we wanted to protect, and then the country says, well, you can have the medical building, take the old thing. And Cuba was going to go ahead and negotiate it. There were some Cuba contractors. They're building an airport. And so the ex explanation was Ronald Reagan says they're building an airport so that way Russia could come over here and attack us from their fucking bases. Uh, the same explanation he used for Guatemala, El Salvador, and Nicaragua. It was all about the Cold War and communism. But really, it was just them turning the fucking, um, you know, the argument against, to, to be against communism. And, um, and that's, that wasn't the fucking case. It wasn't the case, uh, you know, at all. So it was um, the corporations, the wealthy landowners, and uh, that's, that's who Ronald Reagan was supporting against the revolutionaries. So his foreign policy is just really fucking bad uh, any time he got anywhere. Uh, the, the one thing that actually the American people know about is Iran-Contra. And so uh, he couldn't explicitly, you know, just uh, support South Africa and, you know, uh, these military interventions. The World Court actually convicts um, the United States under Ronald Reagan for the atrocities in Nicaragua uh, for our unlawful use of force. And then it said that we had to pay the Nicaragua rep reparations. So that's... Um, the Iran-Contra scandal is the Contras in uh, uh, Nicaragua, and Ronald Reagan actually says he is a Contra, just like he said with the Taliban uh, and the Contra. He says that they are the moral equivalent of the founding fathers of America. The Contra are the founding fathers, the fucking Taliban. The Taliban is George Washington. That's what the fuck he was saying. So, I mean... It, some people give him credit here. They say, oh, he's old and senile. He don't know what the fuck is going on in his administration. And that's like the nicest thing you could say. Um, the CIA, though, works out of orders that comes out of the White House. And so, therefore, you know, the fucking president. Who's the fucking president? Uh, the Iran-Contra scandal was there. He wanted to get money to the Contras but couldn't give them directly. And so they sold Iran weapons or... I don't know, there's something about selling Iran weapons, getting that money, and then putting that money into Nicaragua. And people know about it. And then eventually he was like, well, you know, unfortunately the facts, while I sincerely believe that I didn't commit a crime, uh, the facts and the evidence are not there. <laughs> so, you know, it's like, well, I don't feel like I, you know, committed a crime. Apparently, apparently they caught me on camera, so I'm fucking guilty as shit. Uh, that's the Iran-Contra. So no administration was as corrupt as Ronald Reagan, not even Nixon's attorney general uh, resigned after he was involved with a company that received illegal no-bid contracts. His secretary of the interior who thought his job was to sell off federal lands to defense contractor was indicted on multiple counts of perjury. Reagan's vice president and successor George Bush pardoned six separate people for the roles in the Iran-Contra affair, including Reagan's national security advisor and his secretary of defense. Well, you know, that's um, wonderful, right? You keep electing these assholes, and then they fucking pardon their fucking friends any of the crimes that they commit. 85 and 86, Ronald Reagan sold arms to Iran, locked in a horrific war with Saddam Hussein's Iraq for cash and release of U.S. hostages. The sales to Iran violated sanctions against Iran, but much of the money that came from the sales was diverted to from the Contras. Right-wing rebels fighting the left-wing Sandinista government of Nicaragua. That was in violation of laws against helping the Contras. As noted above, George Bush had to pardon several Reagan aides in the wake of the scandal. And then, you know, 
Speaking of AIDS, AIDS and there's a big outbreak. There's, you know, I, I feel like, God, when I fucking think about Ronald Reagan, just so much shit just wants to fucking come out of my mouth. He fired the air traffic controllers, which kills the fucking unions. And then you see wages stagnated, you know, oil companies and all these, uh, you know, big-ass corporations are making record profits. Meanwhile, the wages for the American people are essentially the same, or if you, the purchasing power has actually gone down. And so, you know, the the top elite are, you know, having bathing in fucking gold while we're still kind of stuck right at the same thing. He was the one that started the campaign against, you know, supposedly uh, welfare queens, you know, with their limousines and all this other shit. Uh, but that's... Um, if you ask the American people if they say, should we help the poor, then they'll say yes, but if you say, well, do you agree with welfare, and they're like, ah, oh, no, them lazy, you know, degenerate SOVs, and then Ronald Reagan's with the war on drugs, uh, with the war on drugs, you know, he wasn't, it was Nixon that started it, but the, the Ronald Reagan, you know, amplified it, and then they had the mandatory minimums, three strikes, you're out, right, so any drug-related charge, you get three strikes, now you're sitting in a federal fucking penitentiary, and that's Ronald Reagan. That's fucking Ronald Reagan. War on drugs. Um, you know, drugs is a, an entity. I guess we're attacking the idea, right? No drugs. What, what about aspirin? You twelve take twenty of them, motherfuckers. It'll be your last headache. And um, and it's a it's a very racist thing too. You know, I think as Americans we should have a right to our own bodies. And if we want to drink bleach or you know, I don't know, stick a fork in our eye, that's what we want to do. You're going to make forks illegal, saying you're protecting us. You're not protecting anybody. The war on drugs is bullshit. It's failed everywhere. The war on drugs has been implemented. It has failed everywhere where alternatives have been used. And there's only about a dozen countries where the alternatives have been used. They've been successes. So in a situation where all the examples of implementation are failures and then all of the implementation of the alternatives are successful, quit doing the insane shit. Quit fucking, you know, banging your head against the wall thinking that uh, eventually the wall's going to come down. If it hasn't came down, you know, for decades, 71 was when Nixon started that shit, and here it is, 2015, so that's uh, 30, 34 years, right, or 44 years. So that's uh, 44 years. As we haven't got rid of the fucking drugs. In fact, you uh, by making it illegal, you increase the profit margin. Drugs are still here, and the only people that are making money are the government officials, the sheriffs, jailers, prosecutors, right? The entire white collar mafia, and then the uh, drug lords. We're giving you know all that black market money is going to the uh, Al Capones uh, for today. So your crackheads, your um, your crack dealers, your pot dealers, your you know, your drug dealers, the people that are drug dealing out here, they're making buku dollars because they're willing to take the risk, hire the risk, hire the reward. So, I mean, the war on drugs is fucking bullshit. It's just fucking bullshit, but that's Ronald Reagan, war on drugs, war against unions, firing the air traffic controller, war against democracy and freedom when it comes to um, Nicaragua, El Salvador, Cuba. Uh, boy, he's a terrorist, the financing bin Laden, and... Um, and one uh, note on South Africa, you know, he was against Nelson Mandela. It was like, how dare you? You know, the white minority should be able to control the entire fucking uh, country, even though it's uh, democracy. They would definitely have voted Nelson Mandela in uh, to office easily. Uh, Colin Powell. Colin Powell was right there. And how did they get South Africa the money and the weapons that they used against Nelson Mandela's terrorist organization? They funneled it through Israel. So, I mean, they're doing all this uh, sneaky, illegal fucking bullshit and, um, you know, attacking Granada. And then he tries to make the case to the American people, oh, no, this little tiny, you know, Bahama nation is building an airport and they're going to use that airport to kill us. Oh, shit. Okay, Ronnie, whatever you want. You want us to fucking invade them? And that's what, you know, that's what they did. Um, and um, and they didn't care for negotiations. They didn't care for peace. They want to fucking invade. They want to have a victory. They want to get the, the 240 Marines in Lebanon getting exterminated, uh, you know, off the fucking front page. HIV and AIDS. So AIDS, uh, he ignored AIDS until 21,000 Americans had died of it. You know, you got Charlie Sheen with HIV. You got uh, Easy e he died of HIV. I want to say Freddie Mercury. And... Um, God, who was another one? Oh, uh, uh, Magic Johnson. So uh, AIDS uh, being a fucking epidemic, you know, uh, Obama, people want to get shitty about him because there's three uh, Ebola cases in this country. Oh, no, Ebola's going to fucking come in and take over this nation. But AIDS was uh, seriously, I mean, three people died of Ebola, but 21,000 Americans died of AIDS. That's 
Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan didn't give a shit about the people. You got this STD that's just kind of, you know, uh, fanning the flames. You got, you know, if he's an uh, evangelist or listening to the right wing churches, then that's uh, that's God's way of punishing homosexuality by, you know, getting AIDS. But it's an STD. Anybody can spread it to anybody. So it's not. Um, it's kind of bad that it's sort of focused on homosexual community. But um, so that's. He didn't give a fuck about AIDS. He didn't give a fuck about the unions, the people. He's got this war on drugs. He didn't give a fuck about the poor. Uh, he's a terrorist, right, supporting bin Laden and the uh, Mujahideen and the Taliban and the, um, uh, uh, see who else, the Contras, right? He is a Contra. That's what he says. He opposed sanctions on apartheid. South Africa helped him get some, um, he tripled the national debt, so in terms of being sort of a small government guy, he wasn't, he raised taxes several times, and then he triples the national debt. It's fucking nuts, actually, how conservatives have a greater deficit in national debt than uh, Democrats, at least. Uh, the Republicans have a greater national debt. Why? I mean, I guess if you're not, they're supposed to be small government people, and then all of a sudden they have all these wars, and then they borrow all that money from whoever, China or whatever, and then now you have all this fucking debt. So, you know, we had the money to give a shit about people. We had the money to uh, give to poor people and to help people actually have good lives for education, for health care, for, um, you know, the things that we all need. And, uh, you know, people talking about Bernie Sanders not being able to afford college, but Ronald Reagan had plenty of money for fucking prisons, prosecutors for, you know, fucking people over for uh, smoking a joint, right? Smoke a joint, go to fucking jail. Well, where's the jobs? Where's the um, health care and education? And they're nowhere to be found. And, um, and, you know, so he had, like, trillions of fucking dollars to do all this horrible shit, the uh, war on drugs, the uh, war on poor people, welfare, war on blacks. Um, I, I don't know too many things about war on women. I don't know if he got anything passed on it, but good that he didn't, right? So, in the, uh, see. So, he fired them, uh, 11,000 air traffic controllers in 1981. And then that's, you know, the union. That was a union thing. The workers wanted a better condition, better way of life. And Ronald Reagan said, you know, fuck, fuck you. So the amnesty for the um, three million workers, which would be the opposite of what Trump is doing, and you know, and at that time people were pissed off at Iran Contra. He got in a lot of trouble, but now you got Bush, two Bush Jr. Baby Bush, Baby Bush comes up, and Baby Bush just fucks over. You know, uh, we threw out LBJ, we threw out Nixon over this Vietnam War, one fucking war, and now we're an empire declaring wars on anybody and everybody. So Reagan. You know, he's uh, the, he's going to be venerated. He's going to be, you know, history is going to be like, well, we're an empire, and that's just our fucking role is to take over the world and keep order and all this other shit. And uh, empire don't help me. I think we should have a republic, and uh, we should have a republic, and then um, yeah, give you know international affairs to the UN if we think that we want to back it, then we go in. But you know, for us to be the world's policemen, we're not very good at it. We like to take people's oil, so if there's a conflict and they're sitting on oil, oh, let's hurry up and get there, but if, uh, you know, if it's just Boko Haram or if it's just a uh, Kony in Uganda, right, we don't give a shit, we don't care about them, it's, uh, Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia are supposed to be our fucking allies, they keep on beheading people every goddamn day, every fucking day, you know, and um, that's, that's our allies, that's who we, you know, want to back up and that's who we say are our friends. I mean, it's just, it, it, that's, that, being an empire, having 900 military bases in 150 countries, that is, uh, we're, we're spreading our, you know, our arms and we're getting in meddling in everybody's business. We're going to kill somebody that we shouldn't kill. We're going to side with people that we shouldn't side with. And so I think that actually increases terrorism better than it, you know, actually stops it. People do have a right to determine for themselves. I think the international community is pretty much on board with making sure people are peaceful, not declaring, uh, uh, not proliferating nuclear weapons, and um, not invading other countries. So if one country does that, international community, UN condemns it, says this is bullshit. America, you know, steps it up and says, hell, we'll fucking help you out. And then all of a sudden, you know, the world takes notice. But that. Um, to, to just say, well, it's whenever our interest, and we always care about our interests. It's our national interest, right? Well, we can't go in there because we're not going to get anything out of it. Well, I don't know. I think humanitarians at a fucking war, I mean, in Kosovo, right, we were just the good guys. And, um, and so if we're going to be an empire, we should do humanitarian missions. If we're not going to be the world's policemen, fucking come home. You know, uh, let's for just these Pacific and Atlantic Oceans have protected America for a long fucking time.
And let him keep on protecting us. <coughs> so I think it's, um, that's most, but, God damn it. So yeah, just fuck Ronald Reagan. Fuck Ronald Reagan. Just sit there and be like, oh, he's such a good, it's like an old grandpa figure or some shit. I don't even understand what the fuck people are talking about. It's like they, uh, I mean, I guess look at the, all the love for Trump. People don't pay attention to politics. They don't know what the fuck is going on. He's the president. Just supposed to fucking worship him and say everything that he's doing is just fucking grand, even if it's not. He was against Nelson Mandela. He was against Nelson Mandela. He was in favor of bin Laden, right? He was in favor of the Contras of Sandinistas. He's uh, intervening, you know, in these Latin American countries that he had no business in, all because of supposed communism. But uh, there was it had nothing to do with communism. They they were it was like the Iraq invasion. Oh, there's yellow cake. There's yellow cake in Africa. Oh, okay, fucking yellow cake. That must be the reason to invade a fucking country. He might have weapons of mass destruction. Let's invade. No, that's that's nuts. That's insanity. Um, but the the United Nations. I guess I'll end it on that. The United Nations. There's a guy who's opposed to Syria. Um, I want to say Jeremy Miller. I'm not sure of the name, but it was in the British Parliament, and he says that the United Nations, the legacy of World War II was to not allow that shit to happen, where we all just dive in, you know, and we all just fuck up each other, and the biggest crime, you know, it's kind of laughable at the Nuremberg trials, but the biggest crime um, that they said that Hitler did that the Allies didn't do was that he invaded other nations. So therefore, one sovereign nation cannot invade another sovereign nation. That was the legacy of the greatest generation. That's the legacy of the United Nations. But we did that. The American government, not only, I mean, Hitler invaded Poland, which he said was German lands, and he might actually have some historical justification for that. Also, Czechoslovakia, and, you know, the, um, I forget, the Sudetenlands. But that was... Um, uh, that was next door, and that was, you know, he says, basically, this is my territory, so it would be like, you know, us going into Florida, and then China invading the military, because, you know, the military went into Florida, saying, well, they're their own country, they're their own nation, we're saving everybody, it would be ridiculous, it would be insanity, uh, but let's, Let's assume that he's wrong on those things. They're their own countries. He invaded another nation that was neighboring, that was adjacent to him. Well, the United States didn't just invade an adjacent country. They traveled across the fucking world and dropped bombs. And 500,000 to a million civilians have been said to have been killed in the Iraq war. And, I mean, a million fucking people, right? Kill one, it's a statistic. Kill a million, it's, uh, you know, or kill one, it's murder. Kill a million, it's a statistic. It's... Stalin. So, Ronald Reagan, I don't know. This, he raided the Social Security Trust, I'm reading here. So he, you know, used the Social Security as backing to his deficit for all his warmonging. And, um, and just, you know, I ran contrary. He's like, I didn't know what my administration was doing. How do you not fucking know what's going on? And if you don't know what's going on, maybe that's the only good thing. That is true. That's the only good thing you could say about him is he's an old senile fucker that didn't know what the hell was going on. Um, but that's... Uh, this just isn't the case. So I guess in short, fuck Ronald Reagan. He was just a fucking dirtbag, a piece of shit. He defined the 80s. And um, it, I'll end it on, all from El Salvador. So even though Oscar Romero was assassinated on Jimmy Carter's watch, eventually Ronald Reagan is ushered in, and El Salvador is in the Civil War for the whole decade. And where was Ronald Reagan? He was definitely on the side of the death squad, the right-wing death squad to the corporations, Loved who the School of American uh, School of America had sent out a bunch of you know foreign mercenaries or uh, uh, advisors and shit to help their fucking nation kill their own people and um, you know it's not moral it's not Christian it's not good for America it's creating more terrorists and uh, I don't even you know I mean all that glitters is not gold so I don't know why people even really uh, like this country. I've heard actually recently that there are more Mexicans leaving America than are coming into America. So that's an interesting development. So, Ronald Reagan. Fuck Ronald Reagan. Fuck Ronald Reagan. Fuck him.